in our athletic shoes, we're trying to make better shoes for better athletes. You can design a product that is for the very best athlete in the world, and yet you can still layer kind of on top of that the sense of style of, an, of a particular athlete. So I think Hatfield was a designer who quite radically brought the idea of this sort of primal graphic print to, to a running shoe at the time. In order to sort of come up with some of these ideas, you have to just get out in the world and sort of see what's around. I went into a furniture store and I was looking at a couch. There was this beautiful couch covered in real ostrich skin. The ostrich skin um, stayed in my mind. I found something that looked a little like the ostrich and uh, I felt that was going to be something that uh, could be really interesting and unique. The Air Safari changed the way athletic shoes looked and felt. And in fact, uh, there were many people at Nike who just said I was nuts. To be a leader, sometimes you have to be a provocateur. And so I see this new soccer boot with the Safari print as a product that is provocative and interesting. The concept around building the Safari and Christiana is to take something that's iconic, part of Nike's DNA, and package it in a modern way that really resonates with a type of footballer, in this case, Cristiano Ronaldo. We wanted to bring Safari and sort of mash it together with what Cristiano's about, which is about being fast on the pitch. So the concept of adaptive traction, it kind of came from this cheetah, because if you watch a cheetah, it's biomechanics uh, adapt to the different terrain by each step, so it can be very fast but very focused at the same time. And that analogy put into a football game, Focus on your game 100% while your boots take care of any difference in, in pitch conditions is really the, the kind of connection between the cheetah and the adaptive traction concept. When you create a product, you, you just don't know what's going to happen in the future for the most part. But to think about that project coming to life again on the foot of uh, one of the great football players of our day, that old shoe is being rebirthed in a new and even cooler way is pretty exciting. I think the way we've executed it really lives up to the way he, he thinks about doing things different, pioneering. And the blend of this kind of very high innovation performance with this high understanding of aesthetic together makes something that's really defining and a really good design. Michael Jordan used to always say, if I look better, I feel better. If I feel better, I play better. If I play better, I win. There is something to that, that uh, psychologically, if you, if you feel special, even before you step out on the pitch, you've already got a little bit of an edge maybe over, the, over your opponent.